The Secret Behind Ask Leo. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. Some time ago, I answered a question from a reader and they responded to the answer by saying it's so easy when you know how. Now, I don't know if they were making an honest observation or a snarking comment. I suspect the former, but it started me thinking about what I'll call my deep, dark secret. I didn't know how. In fact, it is very often that I have absolutely no clue. But the difference, I suppose, is that I know how to get a clue. When I don't know an answer, which is often, I'll even say some days it feels like it's most of the time, the skill that I bring to the table is simply this. I know where or how to look and what to look for. I know how things more or less normally work and extrapolate from there. What I do then is test my assumptions by taking a look, perhaps experimenting a little, and thus discovering the answer. I don't know the answer. I didn't know the answer. I found the answer. So what you know is important, but it's often not what you know that makes the difference. What matters more, often much more, is your willingness and ability to take what you already know and build on it to discover solutions. It doesn't work in all cases, but it works more often than you might think. I know a lot less than people think I do. I'm often just making it up as I go along. I'm really good at doing that. And all that means is that I'm very good at finding answers. You could be too. So I had a visitor here recently, and I was showing her how to do a few things on her new Windows laptop. At times, it seemed, I didn't really know what I was doing. I probably didn't. As a result, I'm always a little self-conscious when somebody's looking over my shoulder. Yet, I ended up with the exact information she needed. And like I said, it's very true. I often don't know what I'm doing specifically. It's really no surprise when you think about it. I regularly switch between not only assorted versions of Windows, but also between Windows, Mac, Linux, my phone, other things. There are just too many specific details across everything on all of those platforms to hold in this little brain. It gets even worse because much of what I was showing, and indeed many of the questions that I get every day, don't apply to how I personally use my computers. These are things that I just don't do on any regular basis. For example, I rarely run Windows File Explorer. I'm either in the command line or using a dual pane Explorer replacement called Explorer 2. But that doesn't prevent me from demonstrating or answering questions about Windows File Explorer. This applies to programming too. Many current and common computer programming languages are very similar to one another in many respects without getting into religious debates, which programmers love to do. Programming languages like Python, Java, JavaScript, Perl, PHP, C++, and others all share many common concepts and often have very similar syntax. It's often all derived from a common ancestor, the C programming language. They're similar, but they are definitely not identical. Because I regularly find myself playing around in PHP and Perl and JavaScript and Python, things can get very confusing very quickly. What's the exact syntax for X? What order do the parameters to Y go in? Are common questions that I run into all the time. And I kind of sort of know the answer. I know what the answer should look like, but I don't necessarily have the specific answer memorized. So I do a quick search. Since I know what it looks like, I know it when I find it, and off I go. Google, or Bing, or YouTube, or of late DuckDuckGo. These are my friends. Skill trumps knowledge. Instead of exhaustive knowledge about the hundreds of thousands of little details, what I have is the skill to discover, and perhaps rediscover, what I need on the fly. Instead of knowing, I know how to find out. 
With the enormous amount of information quite literally at our fingertips these days, and more arriving and changing every day, knowing how to find what you're looking for is an incredibly valuable skill. It could be as simple as becoming better at using search engines or the search options on various websites. Seriously, I search my own site all the time. Many of my emailed answers are really nothing more than me or one of my assistants acting as a slow search engine, interpreting the question we've gotten, and then searching on Ask Leo for the article that already exists answering that question. Imagine how much more information you could find and use more quickly with proper search skills. And it doesn't have to be about computers. I've used search techniques to help me do as low tech a thing as pulling fence posts. Seriously, I've got an article on that. Being able to recognize patterns and extrapolate from them is almost as important. Earlier, I said that I know how things more or less normally work and I extrapolate from there. There was nothing that pointed me to the answer. Instead, I looked at how things normally work in similar cases that I made and tested an assumption that things would work similarly in the case with which I was faced. Nope, it does not always work. And I agree, it's absolutely frustrating when it doesn't. But quite often it does, and it can quickly lead to solutions that would otherwise remain out of reach. So I strongly recommend that instead of Accumulating knowledge, which is fine. Instead, though, invest in the skills associated with finding the knowledge you need as you need it. Like I said, this could mean search engine skills, communication and terminology, or even just paying close attention to the patterns you see and then learning how to extrapolate them. It'll save you time and make you much more self-reliant. For updates, for comments, for more ideas, for links related to this topic and more, visit askleo.com 13567. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.